Hey everyone, today I have a fun math puzzle for you. The question is 100 to 100 and 99 to 101. Which one is bigger? So some people will just try to take it to the powers, but we're doing this without a calculator and the numbers are way too big to solve without a, a calculator. So what we're going to do is think about a ratio, right? So let's do 100 to the 100 over 99 to the 101. Now, is that greater than, less than, or equal to one? Okay, so it's hard because the bases and the powers are different, so it doesn't make for a clean comparison. But what if we wrote the bottom as 99 to 100 times 99 to the one? So we're gonna do 100 to 100 over 99 to 100 times one over 99. Now clearly this is bigger than one, but the question is, is it big enough to counteract this, which is clearly smaller than one? Okay, so again, the hundred is still throwing us off. And what we can do is think about this as 100 over 99 to the hundredth power times one over 99. Now 100 is really 99 plus 1. So we can write that as 99 plus 1 all over 99 to the 100 times 1 over 99. And we can split this up into 1 because 99 over 99 is one, plus one over 99 to the 100. Now times one over 99. Now there's a limit rule that says limit as n goes to infinity equals of one plus one over n to the n equals e. e, right, is the natural number, and it's 2.718, and then it keeps going. But basically, you know it's going to be below 2.8. And if we plug in here, right, let's say we did 1. It'd be 1 plus 1 over 1, so it'd be 2 to the 1, so that'd be 2. So we can see that it's starting below 2.718, and it's going to climb up to 2.718 but never go above it. So our max on that would be 2.718. Now the issue here is we have to 100 power, but we have a 99, so which one is n? I'm gonna keep this as n and split it off. So make an extra one of these to be on its own. So we'll have, I'm gonna erase a bit, one plus one over 99 to the 99 times 1 plus 1 over 99 times 1 over 99. Okay, so this, right, has to be less than 2.8. So this is less than 2.8, but it's going to be more than 2. This is going to be more than 1. It's going to be 100 over 99. So right now, we're still above 2, but we have times one over 99. So even if this and this multiplied, let's say this was three, right? We'd have three times 100 over 99 times one over 99. The three and the 99 would cancel and we would be left with 100 over 33 times one over 99. And that's clearly a bigger bottom than the top, so that would be less than 1, which means that 100 to the 100 over 99 to the 101 is less than 1, which means 100 to 100 is less than 99 to 101. And that just shows the power of powers, right? It's actually a lot less than 99 to 101, because if you did this math out, you would see this would be in the thousands and we'd have only 100 on top. It'll be really small compared to the first part. So that is how you can do this one. I'm gonna leave you with one to do on your own. You can use the same exact method 
and you can probably predict it already, but let me know if you can do the steps on your own. All right, so here's the question. Try it out on your own. No calculator. Don't just try to calculate it. Actually try that method. So try this one out on your own. Also, you could try out 11 to the 10. I'll write it here. 11 to the 10 versus 99 to the 11. All right, so good luck with this. Let me know if you have questions. I hope it's sunny where you are. And if it's raining, I hope it's cleaning your windows. Bye.